Welcome back to Saltwater Jacks Fishing. I've got a great video for you today. Using Google Earth, we're gonna take you along on a nine hour animated fishing trip that I did with my good buddy Bundy the other day. We're gonna show you where we fished. We're gonna show you what we caught using a one fifth ounce Nedlock Z hook paired with a 3.75 green pumpkin goby. Unfortunately, this is gonna be the last fishing trip with Bundy for a while as he's decided to leave the great state of South Carolina and move to Florida on us. Man, what a way to go out. He almost had a triple inshore slam, missed it by one trout. Anyways, I seem to catch all the small ones. He caught all the big ones, so I love it for him. We wish him the best of luck. Hope you enjoy the video. Stop the video. I need your help. I'm really trying to grow this channel, but I'm gonna need your help. I don't know if you know this, but for this eight minute video, it's taken three to four days to put together. So I really would like your help to promote it. But in order to do that, you're gonna to need to log into your account so you can give it a thumbs up or make a comment. If you wanna subscribe, that's wonderful, but I do need some interaction with you. In order for YouTube to promote this video and to get more views, more comments, I have to get likes or I have to get comments. So please take just two minutes. If you found any value whatsoever of this video, take two minutes, log in your account, just give it a thumbs up. Or in the comments, just say, hey, I liked it or I got it. I really would appreciate it. Back to the video.
All right, so in this point in the video, hopefully you're finally realizing that um, you're going to have to put some work in sometimes. Uh, we fished all over the Wando, Upper Wando area, and um, many of the spots where we actually caught fish, they had several things in common. They were either points of creeks, they were mouths of creeks, they had structures such as oysters, they had uh, docks, um, and we were just hitting all those different places. Not everywhere produced, um, but we were fortunate enough we were able to catch some fish. Um, anyways, on with the video. guys in this part of the video you're gonna see on there where we first started having engine troubles um, the first time I, I gunned it and you know we we're gonna head down river and it stalled uh, so then we put the trolling motor down we went across the river to get out of the way of boats we let it sat for a minute and instead of gunning it this time I eased it up on plane that kind of gave me a clue as to what might be the problem This is the part in the video, as you can see, where the engine just stopped working. Uh, fortunately for us, we were close enough to, uh, to the dock that we were able to put the, um, put the trolling motor down, head across the river, did some fishing, um, was able to let the boat sit for a little bit. I had an idea what it was. Check out this video up here and how I fixed it for $30. 